Hey everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Well, this week's been terribly cold, so we didn't get the sawmill set up. I got the strawberry plants in the cooler ready to go. It went down in the teens, so I didn't want to put them out in the high tunnel, so that's going to be my project coming up next week. So this week we did a lot of flower planting, still got some more to do, learned how to propagate some more flowers. So I'm going to have flowers everywhere this year, so I'm very excited about that. And I'm going to show you some of my trials of um, ones that worked really good, some that didn't work so well, and some ideas that we have to do. So. Stay tuned, it should be an interesting video. So I'm going to start with an update of what we've done in the greenhouse this past week. As you can see, I pulled all the uh, spinach and the parsley and everything, so i got to get these channels clean. They did really well. Here's an update on the leeks. It's kind of a fail for me, but at least I tried. They didn't get as big as I thought, so I'm going to try to get them out of the channels and put them in grow bags and see if I can get them big enough. One thing that really was a good success, success I should say, is... Um, the kohlrabi. I've let them go a little bit too long, so they're a little bit too big, but the ones that I picked smaller, they were so good, and all the uh, suggestions I had on how to eat them, raw is definitely the best. And what I found is I'm able to put two seeds in one cube and get two off of each um, hole here, so I can double my harvest. So I'm really excited about growing this, and I, a lot of people don't even know what kohlrabi is, so I'm excited to teach people about it. So this is my rosy. It goes in two weeks to the CSA. It's um, getting very nice. It'll really start taking off here. And it's the uh, red Carlton. And it's an Asian green that's in the bok choy family. As always, my green beans take off once the sun starts getting out a little bit more and then with the grow lights Doug has. So this tag I put here down here 10 days ago. And look how far up these guys have gone. So I'm starting to get little flowers. And so I should have beans by next week. So now that it's been a little bit warmer in the greenhouse in the evenings, my cucumbers are starting to take off. For a while there when we were having problems with the uh, heating and not getting enough wood into the wood burner, they were kind of slowing down, but they're taking off and one of my big sellers for my CSA and my farm market. Okay, so here's an update on Doug's tomatoes. He's been pollinating them every other day so he doesn't stress out the buds. But uh, here's a tag I put on 10 days ago, and the growth is just phenomenal. And look how nice and thick the stems are getting. So I think we're having a good bumper crop coming up here. I can't wait for my first tomato. So here's my harvest for next week. It's Hans Tai Tai. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you say it. It has a real mustard flavor. It does get yellow flowers on it, which are also edible, but I'm going to do this at the baby size. So you see it's got a little purple color. I like to add this to potato salads and macaroni salads in the summertime to give it that mustard flavor. So I got some more endive growing. It's one of my favorite things to watch grow. And you can see I have one of my uh, sticky cards here because for some reason thrips likes the endive. So I'm making sure I don't get any thrips in here. And so far I just see one little tiny bug and I'm not sure what that is, but I'll have to figure out. So here's my broccoli and cauliflower. I kind of moved it over here underneath the lights. This guy here is on the cement because there's a drip all the time from the one seam, so he's getting watered. But I'm still hand watering them. I'm turning them a quarter turn every other day or so. I should probably do it every day, but they're really taking off. I still don't know which is which because I forgot to put the tags in, but it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out soon enough. I'm going to do some flower baskets here. I have no clue what I'm doing. I think it's going to turn out better than last year, but I'm just going to wing it and see what we got going. Okay, so these are 16 inch baskets. I'm going to put eight um, flower plants in each one of these baskets. I'm going to do multiple colors in here because that's what I like to do. So I'm going to do 
some Easy Wave um, Purple Fusion Petunias. I'm going to do some Super Bells, and then I forget what color verbenas these are. I think they're white verbenas. So the reason I'm cutting off the flowers and trimming these back is so when they're in the baskets, they'll spread out, and I won't have any empty spaces when the baskets get bigger. really good luck this year with planting the petunia seeds in soil, starting soil, with the nice roots on these guys. Okay, so what I've been told is as big as your cube is how big you want your plant to be and then what's left over you can probably propagate again so I'm going to try to do that this year. I'm doing lots of super bell baskets this year because you can get away with not watering them like I do sometimes. So I think I'm just going to plant a bunch of them and then snip off and propagate because right here mom propagated some the other day and look how good they're doing. That's a super bell. What's that, a petunia? And two petunia. petunias and then a verbena. Yep. in here I didn't realize that they had the little flower buds on them so I went ahead and snipped those off because you want the plant to put its energy into getting roots and not producing the flowers and seeds. So these are 16 inch baskets. I was going to do eight but I think I'm going to do six in each basket. So here are the baskets we got so far, and we have petunias, super bells, and I got some verbenas in some of these. And then we started geraniums this year, so we had to put them in a little bit bigger cup. So got them underneath here, they get enough light, and when I water them they can just drain into the gravel so it doesn't mess up my concrete. So I'm really excited about all the flowers again. So Doug's main project that he works on in the greenhouses is his tomatoes, which doesn't take as much time as I do in the NFT channel. So he stays back here with me to keep me company and stuff. And while he's back here, he does all his purses. Look how many he's got done this winter so far. This one is my favorite. He made one of these for me last year. It is the best purse. Just big enough to put enough stuff in, has a couple compartments so you can keep things organized. Really nice. And then he did this new corset bag one, which has a really cool look on it. He got his belts he's done, and he's doing um, a few more black purses. I know black's not his favorite color, but I know everybody else likes black purses. And this thing is so cool. It's like a camera bag or something. Put a lot of work into that one. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Now, this week wasn't as productive as normal because the weather was so crappy out. I didn't get my wet wall back there painted. Doug, didn't, like I said before, didn't get his sawmill up, and we didn't get the braces made for the strawberries. I didn't get the strawberries in the high tunnel. There were so many things we wanted to get done. But it was fun playing with the flowers this week with Devin and getting those going. It kind of made nice time for the crappy weather we had here. 
So stay tuned for next week when we're doing all this other fun stuff that we've kind of put off. And like always, please leave me any suggestions, comments, or questions down below. And we'll see you guys next video.